Welcome to the Porth Castle and Brynerian Light Railway. This mound at the bottom of the garden will eventually be Brynerian Quarry. Um, possibly a gallery quarry like Dunorwick or maybe um, open hole with a winder like um, on the Tullith Lane. If we come down along here the railway will follow this route descending down to the bottom end of the garden. That's the decking. And here we start to see where we've got some of the concreted embankment all in place. The railway on this part of the garden has been kept very simple. Um, simply following a precast concrete course. The idea being that we've got something nice and robust that's not going to get ruined by the kids when they're playing out. There uh, we go, that's under my workshop, it's under the bottom corner. Uh, the idea being we could keep the root as close to the edge uh, and boundaries of the garden keep as much lawn in the middle. It's uh, only a very small garden, got a removable bridge there eventually. Carry on following it round, cast a plinth area. Um, with the idea that the kid could play there, bring the Lego out, build the station, houses and things. Play with their own little train, set them going round. Now we have another bridge with a ramp up for the cars. Follow the railway along through the little woodland there that we've got planted to what we call Castle Crag. When we're eventually finished, we're going to have a, a castle sat on top of this crag which will overlook the harbour of Porth Castle and this will be the harbour eventually once I've cast some sides to make up the harbour and we'll have a little town here uh, railway station docks possibly uh, a ship of some kind moored on the uh, moored in the harbour coming okay, round station will be down just around here somewhere uh, follow it along and there'll be a little tunnel around this corner this is all going to be perhaps built up like the crag different levels carry on round and then we uh, get back to the quarry where we started from there we go